Hey guys, I'm awake super early. It's like 6.45 right now and I'm in Plaza Fach Square in Quito. Um, it's funny because they have like these letters there that say Fach, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm awake this early because I'm on my way to Otavalo. They have a Saturday market there that is um, supposedly really big on Saturday. So that is um, where I'm going today and it's a two hour ride there so I'm here waiting for my bus to get there. So I made it to the first part of my Otavalo day trip, which is the animal market here. And this is um, like a weekly thing that only happens on Saturday and it's a market for livestock or pets or for any reason you need an animal, you come here on Saturday. And um, I've been warned that it might be a little bit difficult to watch, especially if you are someone that cares about animal rights and things like that so uh, just warning you guys uh, maybe you want to skip through this part of my vlog if that really bothers you it's probably going to be hard for me to look at as well but uh, it's something that happens here and so I would like to visit and just kind of see um, what they do here to ease the heartbreak. All right, I'm at the second part of my Otavalo day tour and I'm at the handicrafts market that they have here on Saturday. So you can see behind me there's all these handicraft and artisan goods and I'm gonna shop around here for a little bit and basically do my favorite activity which is bargain for stuff. market for about an hour now and I haven't really found anything that I like but I just did and I can't walk away without getting one let me show you guys what I found at the markets now I'm at the next part of my day trip and we're going to this waterfall that is in Otavalo I believe it's called Cascada Pachuga 
It got pretty hot, so I put my hair in a ponytail. Um, it's supposed to be like just a short 10 minute hike until I get to the waterfall. So of course, I will check in with you guys then. the last part of my day trip to Otavalo in the Otavalo area. Right now I'm in a town called Todokachi um, and this town is well known for their leather goods so I'm on this avenue now where they just have like all these uh, leather shops and boutiques but I don't really think I'm gonna get anything because one even though it's cheaper than it would be like in the States I still don't have like money like that just to drop on a leather jacket that I don't really need and two how am I gonna carry it like in my backpack anyways like I don't know so I'm not gonna get anything most likely and so I'm just walking around and kind of window shopping so of course right after I said I wouldn't get anything I found this leather backpack that I really like she wants $45 for it the leather is so soft um, and it was made here in Kotokachi, but I don't know, like, I don't really need it, but it's such a good deal, and the leather is so soft. What do you guys think? Hey guys, it's super early again, it's like 6.45. I am doing another day trip today. Today I'm going to Kilatoa, which is another inactive volcano that's been filled in at the top with a lagoon but um, I hear that this one's really beautiful it's about two hours away from Quito so I'm in the same square Plaza Fach waiting for my bus to get there and I'm looking forward to today so today we're before we actually get to Kilatoa we're gonna visit a small village that's on the way and I think we're gonna visit a fruit market which you guys know I love fruit markets and then um, when we get to the Laguna, we can actually go kayaking in the Laguna. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to today's activities and I'm going to bring you along with me, of course. As you guys can see, I'm at a market. This is a Sunday market in Pujili and it's a huge Sunday market, one of the biggest that I think I've been to. They have everything from like fruits and vegetables to electronics and like a section even for like toothpaste and toilet paper. It's really interesting, really fun to see all the different stuff that I've never seen before. Um, and I've been seeing many people eat and drink different things that I've never seen before either. So it's really interesting and um, I'm going to take you guys around with me and let's check it out. It's called colada morada mais. It's made from purple corn and it's a pretty thick drink from what I can see. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Whoa, it's like really thick. It's in between like a drink and a pudding almost. I guess it thickens with the corn, but it's a little bit fruity and it tastes really good. So the next part of my day trip is to an indigenous house and that's what that is over there and we're gonna see how some of the local people here live. As you can see, I've made it to Kilatoa Laguna. 
It's a lake inside an active volcano, which I didn't know was actually an active volcano, but apparently when we get down to the bottom, we can see like bubbles in the water showing that it is an active volcano, which I think is crazy, but that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to hike down and um, I will check in with you guys either along the way or when I get down there. Okay, so I'm about halfway down to the lagoon and it's so beautiful. I have to like keep stopping every 10 feet to take a picture because I just can't even get over it right now. Can't believe this is a lagoon inside a volcano. So pretty. I made it to the bottom and now I definitely want to go kayaking because they have this kayak rental place over here and I want to do that. So let's go on a kayak. my kayak ride and now it's raining and I have to go all the way back up to the top in this rain Ugh. okay I think I'm like halfway there back up Ugh, it stopped raining but walking up sucks this is how far it was down and this is how much I still have to go up and I'm gonna stop and have some chocolate because chocolate ends all misery yum 80% dark chocolate from Ecuador. Yum. I made it! Fucking made it! Oh my god. Now it's time to have lunch. So my appetizer, I have some anise tea, which is licorice. I really like licorice. And I have a corn on the cob. Here they call it choclo. And I have some salt for that. For my second course, I have some really nice looking lentils, a salad, avocado, some fries, and rice of course. Now I'm trying this really special drink. It's a typical drink of Ecuador. It is an alcoholic drink. It's called canalazo and it's made with cinnamon, naranjilla juice, which is like a type of small orange kind of, and also it's made with the alcohol of sugar cane, so that's what it is. And I'm really excited to try it because I've heard a lot about canalazo, but this is the first time I've actually seen it in a restaurant. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Salud. That's pretty strong, <laughs> but it's really good. Um, wow, that's really good. You definitely taste the orange juice and cinnamon flavors, um, and it's sweet because of the sugar cane, but it's like a really natural kind of sweetness. I really like it, so yeah, that's canalazo. Also, we just realized that today is Sunday, and in Ecuador, it's against the law to sell alcohol on Sunday, so I'm not sure why they sold this to us, but I'm pretty happy that they did. Airbnb because tonight I'm gonna try couch surfing. Um, this is my first time trying couch surfing. If you don't know what it is, it's um, I don't, when I first heard of it, I thought it was so shady, but I know a lot of people that have done it, and so I'm curious about it. So I'm gonna try it and check it out. It's if people just want to list their homes, like if they have like a couch that you can stay on or like an empty uh, room in their apartment that they would like allow you just crash in. They list it on this website and it's kind of like a community of like travelers that just sleep on people's couches so that's why it's called couch surfing and I'm gonna try it today um, I'm on my way to my host place now her name is Dahlia and so let's see how that goes <laughs> <laughs> 